What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. I got another grill. I have to say this one's probably going to be the rarest one in my collection now. Um, and that's that's uh, saying something because I got some pretty cool rare ones. But uh, this one is just takes the cake. It's just freaking badass and just dumb luck luck uh, bidding on it and won it. And uh, and I'll let me go through the story here. Let me uh, I'll show the blade first. Just so you guys can see it. I'll do a drive by and then we'll talk about it. And I'll tell you my uh, story on this one. Look how beautiful that is. Bam, and then you're gonna be surprised who actually makes this blade. Boom, Ontario. This is an Ontario blade designed by Jerry Hossum. Look how beautiful those freaking Micarta handles are. Full tank construction. And this one here is the 690, the N690CO steel so they say it's equivalent to a bg10 steel nine and a half inch blade length five and a half inch handle um look at that contouring in it man the contour this is just beautiful it feels so good in the hand you need to choke back here i mean it's just it feels like be just a monster chopper look at all the girth up here in front okay so let's get into this so i just saw this blade i thought it looked pretty cool it's like ah, you know whatever i'll start bidding on it and i got sometimes i get the the bidding bug and i started bidding it up and Kind of one, I was like, ah, I kind of paid a lot for it, you know, not not extremely amount. Like I told you guys, like for me personally, I'll never go over. I usually never go over three hundred bucks on bidding. You know, I stay around that price range. Uh, anything higher than that, I usually buy a gun. You know, so I don't go over. I, that's my rule. I just, you know, me personally, uh, unless it's something I really, really want, I'll just go a little bit above it. I won't go. You know, I I don't. I've never bought a knife like a thousand dollar knife or eight hundred dollar knife. It's always, like I said, around that price range. So for that, you know, take that what it is uh, for what it is, and. Um, so anyways, I'm bidding on this and I went it and I was like, oh, cool, you know, but I looked all over the freaking internet and I could not find this anywhere, anywhere. I mean, anywhere, no pictures, uh, no websites, no one talking about it. But I did see uh, Jerry, the designer, Jerry Hossum, talking uh, on, on one of the, uh, one of the, what do you call those, blade shows. He was uh, one of the content creators was talking to him and he's like, yeah, you know, we, we, we made some blades for... Ontario and for also for uh, Spyderco and I seen this exact same blade but with Spyderco branding and of course the Spyderco Spyderco hole so I'm like I was like what the hell is this a is this a maybe a fake uh, you know I was like that would suck if this is a damn fake one you know thinking that maybe someone you know try to copy the, the uh, cheap China one and trying to copy the design of Jerry and, and make you know sell it or something and uh so you know what, and I know Jerry Hossum has a uh, Facebook page. So you know, it won't hurt to hit him up and I see if I can get any type of history on this thing and see what he says on it. So I messaged him on Facebook and he got back with me and told me that uh, what happened is, is he, this is his design. He had Fox Knives make the blade for him. And then he was sending it to, and then, you know, obviously contracting it to either uh, uh, Spyderco or, and, and or, uh, Ontario. So Ontario decided to pass on it. So this is a prototype. This is a freaking prototype. He said there's only like maybe one or two of these made that, that are branded Ontario. And um look up there. Yeah, so he said that uh he's all oh, the one you got is pretty damn rare because Spiderco picked it up and they did a short limited run. They didn't make a lot of these, they made kind of a short run of them, these and some folders that he had. And, uh, and the only difference is Spider Co. They had the hole here because they wanted to keep it that same type of style for that. You know, everything has like that big hole. Has a, this one doesn't. So this was going to be for Ontario that I never picked it up. So he said, yeah, that one's actually pretty rare. He's all, you know, he didn't really didn't even think that was out there. So that was kind of cool to hear his story. And so that made me feel a lot better. I was like, oh, damn, that's cool then to know that this is a, an, a, just a really rare, original Ontario branded knife that they're almost going to go with and decided not to. So... This is a, a rare prototype, you know? And if you go check out Spyderco, that's the thing too, when I was looking up on, on internet, I found a bunch of pictures of this exact blade, but well, with, with that hole in it, but the exact same, everything else the same, but branded Spyderco. So it was tripping me out. I was like, this is so that's what it is. So he was telling me, yeah, this one is gonna be a, is, is more collectible, way more collectible than the other ones because of that reason. So I kind of stumbled onto a pretty, pretty rare grail here, man. <laughs> awesome freaking grail, look at that. Just fit and finish is perfect on it. Just freaking badass. So just beautiful, beautiful. And these, again, these are made, this was made by Fox in Italy. So this is an Italy made blade uh, made out of that really good steel. 
Um, this thing is freaking, freaking razor blade. Um, beautiful grind work. I love it. I love it. So now that made me feel better for what I paid for it. And I got a pretty good damn deal because I, I went to look to see even the Spyderco version of this online. And even the Spyderco version, that's, it's still rare. The Spydercos are still rare, but even those are going for $800 to $1,000. And I got this way less than that. So I, I'm stoked about that. So it's, it's just awesome. It's awesome. I love the blade. Love the look of it. Nice jimping right here. It feels just feels so good in the hand, melts in the hand. Just uh, just a beast of a freaking chopper. I love this slight recurve. And uh, that being said, too, I also I love uh, uh, Jerry Hossum's designs. They're just freaking badass. If you ever go check him out, go check out his page. He has some super sick designs. Um, maybe in the future I'll pick up one of his blades, you know, and uh, you know one of his actual original custom blades. Uh, but uh, until then, you know, I'm gonna enjoy this one. This one is just freaking absolutely badass. Mint condition. This thing's never been used. You can tell it was just for, just sent to them to, to see if they wanted it. And I guess someone over at uh, Ontario probably kept it for years and decided, hey, you know what, I don't need it and sold it. So <laughs> uh, just badass. But all right, guys, I just wanted to show you this one real quick and show you another grill that I lucked into. Oh, real quick, I forgot to show you. This is the sheet. So it comes with uh, just a standard, 100% <laughs> standard uh, Ontario sheath that you see on every freaking Ontario knife that went out. So nothing special on the sheath. Uh, I wish they would have did a little better on that, you know, because I know um, uh, Spyderco used, used, made pretty badass Kydex sheets for them, you know, really high-end Kydex, but this is just a standard one. But, hey, it, it goes with the history, man, because that's, that's you know, probably they, didn't, they probably just found a sheet that fit it. They probably didn't even really make one for this blade since it was just a prototype. So, yeah, all right, just wanted to, to show that real quick. And uh, that's it, guys. All right, until next knife, gun, or whatever.